Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So today's video, I am sharing the extra ephemera packs and some things that will be available in my Etsy shop tomorrow with the October release of the Delight Journal Collection. At first, I wasn't really excited about fall because where I live, winter is just around the corner and I do not like the cold and the snow. So, you know, I wasn't really ready for summer to be over, but it's definitely October and the leaves are changing and I think it's glorious. So I embraced it and I decided I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> I am going to share ahead of time some extra things that will be released tomorrow at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. In case you're watching this video later, that is Wednesday, October 3rd. This release will be happening. I will have a link in my description box down below to my shop in case you're interested. Tomorrow I will share the video exactly at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time sharing everything that's in the collection. There will be photos over on my Etsy shop along with a link when that video comes out so you can check out the video. You can go over to my shop. This is actually the seventh journal collection I've come out with. I'm so excited. I can't even believe that it's been seven months already. It's just time flies, doesn't it? Oh, anyway, I'm not crazy about that part. But I am excited to have seven journal collections into all of this adventure. I just love it. Okay, so I've waxed on long enough. Let me share with you. First, I was able to make some tags this time. And I have four sets that are very similar to this. And then I have another set that I put together also. So there are three tags here. They measure four inches by six and a half. Let me just make sure. Yes, so they will fit into the Traveler's Notebook size journal that comes in the collection. There are three of them. One Edith Holden book page. Oh, she's upside down. That's better. <laughs> and then two eco dyed paper. Both of, all three, well, all of these tags have a chipboard center. They're backed with coffee dyed paper, the machine stitching around the edges. There's some lace trim down here, some more trim, and then some vintage buttons. I love this doily. I think it looks like a little fern leaf or something. I just love that. So then there's some lace. This ruffle is on the cover of the book, so it matches, and I just think those are so pretty. I will probably list all four of these tag sets separately, although they are all very similar. The only difference is going to be the button and the book page and, of course, the print on the tag. So there will be four different tag sets like that available. This one is a little different, so I just thought I would share it. One eco dye tag and then two book page tags, more of the lace ruffle, and then I loved this lace piece. I ran out of eco dyed paper. I have it in the kit that's coming out, and then I had a few pages left over, so I made the tags, and oh my goodness, I might have to make some more of these because I love the way that these pieces fit over that tag. And again, these are backed with coffee dyed paper, so you can journal on them and add them to any junk journal, really, but they will match the new collection. Then I put together this little bag of goodies. These are some coffee stained glassine bags. There are two plain, and then there are three that are all very similarly decorated. The difference is again, the buttons that are on the bag. So I added a little flag on all of them so you can use those in your journals. They match the cover of the book. And then these will fit very nicely inside your journals and you can add a tag, you can glue it into your book. I left the back as flat as I could so it would be easier to glue in, it would glue in anyway. Or you could clip it and just add it, have it floating around in your journal too. So I thought those were really fun. And then I had this old ledger book. I left this on here. That probably wasn't a good idea because the paper is very thin, but I thought that looked fun. So I left it there. If you need to take it off, it's perforated and it'll come right off. And the paper's thin, but I thought it made a fun envelope. So I just stuck that in there too. But three decorated glassine bags, 
two stains and then you can always use that bag too. And then you guys, I had two dreamer journals left in <laughs> all of my things that I did not sell. I didn't list them and I thought maybe I would put them up in my shop for anyone who is newer to my channel or I know some of you wanted some of the earlier collections I had come out with. This journal was way back in April. It was the very first one and I may have all of the elements to the collection. I haven't really looked but I need to sit still for five minutes and look. If I do not, I will list these journals separately and they will be at a, you know, steal of a price just so that you guys can have them. If I have the kits, it will also be a steal of a price, but I will include them. So in the Etsy listing, I will let you know if I have them or not, but I just wanted to let you know that these will be available as well. And before I get into the two main ephemera packs for the collection, I thought I would share that I have put together, raise my camera up a little bit, I put together an ephemera pack that is, <laughs> that might be helpful or fun for those of you who use your journals for devotionals or Bible journaling or a prayer journal. I had enough items in my collection that I've gained over time that I decided to put this together. So there are, I will count the pieces as I go through them here because I can't remember. I think there's 25 pieces, but I had a few different books. Like they're all vintage books, leaves of gold, fields of gold, apples of gold, and they're pretty much a collection of quotes, maybe some poetry on the pages that are inspirational. So there is one book page. It's either that fields of gold or whatever, <laughs> apples of gold. There is a book page from another one of those books. And then this one is the oldest. It's the Leaves of Gold, and it will have some kind of poetry or inspiration on there. I also have a double book page, so you will get two pages here of this amazing book with the amazing art. I just love these pages so much. So this is one example. There will be others, so it'll be a surprise which one you get, but I promise you they are all beautiful. So they're all autumn related, which I thought would be fun for the next couple of months. And I just love those so much. I think they're gorgeous. And then I have five different hymnal book pages in here. They are all old. Some of them are very old. So this one is a double page. Of course, it's a variety, so it'll be a surprise what hems you get. But I thought it would be fun to add a collection of them. And maybe they'll speak to you in other ways. This yellowing is all natural. These are some pretty old books. And I love the fact that they're different sizes. So you can fit them in as you see fit. Oh, that's a different page. And then another hymnal page. And then one more. This one's more of like a pocket size. It's bigger than a pocket, but it's small and square-ish. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. There's just so, oh, it's so yellowed, but I think it's amazing. So there are five hymnal pages. And then there is an old poetry book page that is Christian based and they're amazing. I absolutely love this book. So I was excited to put a page of that in the collection. And then there are two blank tags, a white doily, five white tickets. And then I had some vintage game pieces from old Bible games. They are probably dating the newest I think in here is the 70s and then there were some from the 40s and 50s which I think is pretty cool. This was a card game. A lot of the Bible games are I don't want to say cheaply made but they're pretty basic so you know they're not really fancy or anything but I still think they are so much fun and you can use them in different ways so this is a card from a card game. This is probably, like, I even got, like, this is probably the one that I questioned putting in the most. It is, you are going to get one of the Ten Commandments, and it could be any of the Ten Commandments, whether it's don't kill, don't commit adultery, or one of the more pleasant ones that we might enjoy putting in our journal. But if you get this one and you're not thrilled to, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it would relate 
to one of your devotions or prayer times or something. But if you get it and you say, I just don't think I have anything to use that for, you can definitely use the card. It's a really thick card and decorate over the top of it if you really don't have a purpose for something so commanding. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to stick it in there anyway. Here's another card from what, from that exact um, Bible game. There are two Bible trivia cards in here that are white. And then there are two blue Bible trivia games cards in here. I think these were like the tougher ones. Then there are three other Bible card question and answer cards in here. Oh, there are two Ten Commandment cards in here. So that is the little kit that I put together if you're using yours for Bible journaling or a prayer journal. Okay, and then moving on to the two main ephemera packs for the collection. As usual, it comes in this big brown paper sack, and I love this paper. You can use it for all kinds of things. If you cut it up and stick it in your book or use it for some other project altogether, there is an ideals picture page in here. Everybody's picture is different, but this is from the old ideals book, Autumn. So there are so many lovely images. I put one of those in there. There's a brown deli paper in here. I have written on these with a ballpoint pen and I've had good luck on each side. So it, you can write on this. You might want to test out different pens to see what works best, but I thought that was really fun. There is an old book page from a children's book called Fall is here, and it's amazing. It has some great art. So there is that book page. There is a Robert Frost poem, another children's book page. This one isn't necessarily fall related, but I thought some of the images were great. You can cut out and use some of the words. I love old children's books. So you'll find that in the collection. There's also a white time card, a note card and envelope, a fall style napkin that you can do some decoupaging with. This is a number flash card. It's not addition or subtraction or anything. It was for learning numbers. So I thought that was fun. A tea stained index card, one coin envelope, one scalloped brown craft tag, one manila tag. This is a card out of a teacher's kit that was called like the teacher's almanac. And I think it has some fun dates from whatever day of the year that you happen to get. I did grab the ones out of September, October, and November. So you will be getting one of those, which are fall months. So I thought those were pretty fun. You can read through there and see what kind of fun facts are on there. And then there is a bag of goodies. There are some little fall confetti pieces that you could glue into your page or decorate with. And there is a leaf cupcake pick but again that could be a lot of fun and then just a little fabric leaf in there so that is the 15 piece ephemera pack for the delight collection and now getting into the 30 piece collection again it's coming in this brown paper sack there is another ideals book page picture and good luck figuring out which side of the page you want to use that's always a tough choice to make. There's another square piece of deli paper that is in this craft color. This collection has an old spelling book page. This is a children's spelling book and it's pretty old so I thought that was fun. There is another vintage children's book page in here. There's a lot of fun images and book pages in this one as well. There's also another Robert Frost poem. Another one of those teachers almanac fact cards, a greeting card with envelope that you could use in your journaling or some other project you're working on this fall. There's a subtraction Quizmo game card. Again, this is 1958 originally, but 1979 is when this card was printed. So I think that's a lot of fun. There is a coin envelope, a tea stained index card, one claim check, two price tags, two of these paper guest checks. I really love these. You can add them together or use them separately. Another one of those number flashcards, a different style of guest check, one paper doily, two plain manila tags, one layaway tag, a strip of six white tickets, 
this really pretty blue fabric ruffle. There is not an entire fabric ruffle in the collection. There's other things this time, but I did use this on the cover of the journal, so it will match beautifully. So there's a strip of that in here. And then there's this brown paper sack that is full of some fall-related ephemera pieces. So again, you're getting this brown paper sack. There's a punch out of the paper that I used on the cover and this is in a ticket shape. There's this little orange leaf here, a little orange wood veneer, a little baggie full of some of that fall table scatter that you can glue and use on some projects. A cute little fabric leaf, two super cute cupcake toppers, and there are two of those tickets <laughs> in here. So that is the 30 piece ephemera pack. And one more thing that I am going to have in my shop. My daughter, <laughs> she is away at school. She is in her sophomore year of college, and she used to be quite the seamstress, which she still is, but as you can imagine, she doesn't have time for that right now. So she was like, mom, I'm gonna get rid of all my fabric. And I'm like, well, why don't we, why don't you go through and put little fabric packs together and we can stick them up in the Etsy shop and then you can put that in your savings account to help pay your school bills. So that is what I have, she spent, oh my goodness, 10 days going through and painstakingly trimming all of these little pieces with some pinking shears and making all these little packs. And you guys, I can't really tell you what their measurements are. Some of them are larger pieces. Like you can see, this is a vintage piece of fabric here, and it is a really good size. You could definitely make a traveler's notebook cover with this and have it left over. So it ranges in size from something this size at the bottom of the stack to a little piece here. <laughs> this is, a really pretty blue piece here on the top and she's put all of these together they will be priced to sell it will definitely be um, a good deal when I get them up there I've had the hardest time trying to uh, figure out she's got all these different little packs but I'll figure out a few of them and I'll put them up in my shop if anyone is interested because you like to use them in your journaling or make tags with them or something you will be able to look at them and see what's in here so there's just some really pretty vintage pieces. There's some basic colors. She has a lot of new, newer pieces, like she worked at Joann's for a while, so she has some pretty um, patterns downstairs too. This is a really pretty vintage piece there. And I grabbed, obviously, all some that are similar. But I will take photos so you can see what some of them look like. But those will be in my shop as well. And I will probably be just sticking them up there continuously as I have the time to work on them. But I wanted to mention it in this video so I had a reference point to send people to in case they were in my shop and interested in knowing what they were. So that is the last thing that I am going to talk about in this video. So yes, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your wonderful excitement around this collection release. You guys are so awesome. I'm excited too. It's been a lot of hard work. I love seeing it come together. And finally, here it is like ta-da look it happened it came together one more time it's always amazing to me that it can I love it I love it so much so thank you guys so very much don't forget to come back here tomorrow at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and you can check out the video where I will share the collection release and I forgot to say it last month so I'm gonna say it here in case I forget tomorrow if you order the collection within the first 24 hours of the release a full 24 hours because there are people that enjoy these journals all over the world so I want to make sure they have time I will send you a free thank you baggie tomorrow for the first 24 hours of the release where you can have some extra tickets and tags and things to play in your journal some extra ephemera I have so I always think that's a lot of fun so do know that that will be available once again thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking with me I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one bye